Uh, Amanda, so I have a question. Sure. This is related to uh, language acquisition. Uh, okay. Because wh 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 which part of the states do you live right now? Where where do you live right now in the states? I'm I'm near New York City. New York City. Okay. So it sounds like there's a lot of Asian people living in uh, there, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Do you have a lot of Asian people like living in there, right? Yes. Yeah. So uh, my question is that uh, there was a lot of Asian people like uh, you know going to the states, you know, either to study or immigrate to settle down or whatever. The mm -hmm. reason might be. Uh, they settle down. Some people they get used to. They are very from. They are like, uh, you know, they're adapting very well, right? They're yeah. learning language really quickly. They take it down, you know, really quickly, and then they are being a part of uh, U.S. society, you know, as a member, mm -hmm. strong member, right? They're contributing yeah. to society, and they're pretty happy living there, right? On the other hand, yeah. there are some people who are not so happy about it because they are struggling to yeah. make ends meet, right? They're yeah. struggling to learn the language, you know, they're always hanging out with their own people in their own bubble, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, what makes some people succeed and others, you know, like not really, you know, sticking out well and they're struggling for mm -hmm. a long time? What, 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 what do you think that makes difference? I mean, what, 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 what would you say? Well, that's, it's interesting that you asked that question because it's, the, one of the first things I talk about with my Chinese students in particular, yeah. it's, I tell them, you have to make it so that you speak English. So yes. some of them will, will tell me the only time I ever speak English is when I go to the grocery store. My mm -hmm. advisor, because they're graduate students, my advisor mm -hmm. is Chinese. My lab mates are Chinese. Everyone in my office is Chinese and they know it's a problem. And so I tell them, okay, you know, it's a problem then you have to fix it because mm -hmm. you're not going to learn English. If literally your advisor mm -hmm. is Chinese, your lab mm -hmm. mates are Chinese. Mm -hmm. You only say, thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll take a bag for my groceries. Like if that's all the English you're using, yeah, you know, and yeah. like I try to encourage them yeah. to branch out and I have a success story, a su success yeah. story about that. Yeah. I had a girl come back to my office just to say hello a yeah. year after she took my course. Yeah. And she was one of the students that was struggling a lot. Like she could mm -hmm. barely even put a sentence together, mm -hmm. partially from lack of self-confidence and partially yeah. just not ever like she could mm -hmm. write fine, but she couldn't really speak. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. 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 So she came back to my office and we started having a conversation and she was using like, mm -hmm. like we use it. Yeah. Like how you use like as a filler word and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, that means look at this, yeah. like, it's not perfect, right? Yeah. But you're fluent in the in the yeah. case that like, you are using the term like, naturally, <laughs> yeah, yeah. in your thought processes, yeah, you know, yeah. so mm. she actually took that to heart and branched yeah. out and like, yeah. made American friends, mm. went transferred to a different lab, where yeah. it wasn't all Chinese people. And mm -hmm. she was incredibly successful. Wow. Um, yeah, so it, it can it can be difficult if yeah. you're of an ethnic group, that mm -hmm. tends to kind of clump, yeah, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know, like, I have an experience with that with Korean people, it specifically, yeah. Yeah. it's a stereotype that mm -hmm. they, they won't even like look at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's like, okay, it, but if you're struggling, yeah. this is not how you fix it. Like, yeah, yeah. You know? so I think just as a cultural issue with, yeah. I mean, any ethnic group, it doesn't have to be Koreans or Chinese, but just whoever, mm. like this happens mm -hmm. to Americans in Japan all yeah. the time. They like <laughs> lump up, but they never learn yeah. Japanese. Yeah, They'll yeah. be like, I've lived here for 20 years, but I I don't speak Japanese. And it's like, yeah, 20 yeah. years, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it takes change mm. and it's hard and it's scary. And you have to put yourself out there socially and yeah. stuff. Yeah. But without it, you don't. Without um, behavioral or behavior, yeah, I totally, changing. yeah, I totally, you know, agree on that. Yeah, that's yeah. totally, yeah, that's. I, I always stress out the importance of learning language, right? If you want to go to a place where you want to be successful, then you you gotta learn that language, right? The place where yeah. you are, you wanna settle down, right? If you wanna, yeah. if you wanna go to the states and the, what is the language it's spoken all over the place, then that's English, right? You gotta yeah. practice your English. So I actually emphasize the importance of even pre-preparation. 
before you yeah. go to the States? Because once you go to the States and as a person who doesn't know that much of English, right? So your mm -hmm. foundation, foundation is not there, then you're going to yeah. struggle a lot. Because yeah. uh, Americans, they, are, they don't understand as much as maybe Korean who got some education, English education, and finally able to speak English well. And these yeah. guys, they have been in your shoes, right? Right? Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I think, you know, people who are born and raised up there, you know, automatically, you know, they were able to speak English well because, you know, that's their yeah. mother tongue. They have never been in your shoes, right? So and I think they easily get frustrated when you don't speak, right? So mm -hmm. uh, if you live in South Korea, right, you're in South Korea, there's a lot of people who have been through that kind of process of learning language, right? So yeah. uh, get some foundation from them. You know, I mean, most likely they're teachers or you can, you know, you can learn from YouTube videos nowadays, right? So instead of yeah. spending so much money in the first place and then spending less money in South Korea, get the basics now. And then once you yeah. feel comfortable making sentences and understanding English, then that's the time you go to the States and where you practice what you learn. Yeah. Yeah, and I think it's going to be much easier than yeah. just going there, hoping that it's going to work out magically. That you know, I I can speak English, right? With, <laughs> yeah, I I think yeah, I literally say that, yeah, because yeah. a lot of people they tend to think that uh, once I go to that country, then you know, automatically it's going to come to them, you know, right. it's going to come to them. It, it's not the case, right? It's not the case. Yep. Yeah, and like it. And using what you learn deliberately, even yeah. if it sounds stilted or something, like because yeah. without and then also building upon it. So without it, like in linguistics, we call it like input plus one. Yeah. So your input has to be challenging to you. Yeah. Like there needs to be words you don't know that you yeah. go learn that you yeah. ask what does this mean or whatever, mm -hmm. and then it builds up on itself, and you develop. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. Uh, do you I mean? Some Asian people, right? Do they use some vocabularies that you are not even familiar with? I'm talking oh. about because a lot of native English speakers, you know, they don't use you know tough vocabularies, you know, like very confusing vocabularies. They use very simple vocabularies, most likely, right? Nine, mm -hmm. nine out of ten. Uh, yeah. But some Korean students, they think that using very simple vocabularies is showing that their lack of kind of communication skill. Some people think like that. Yeah. Gotcha. So I'm just curious that you have ever faced someone who's trying to use very complicated vocabularies that, you know, people don't use, even though it makes sense, but it sounds really awkward mm -hmm. because people don't use that vocabulary that often. Um, yes, but more often they'll use a British English turn of phrase or something, mm -hmm. which is just strange, but mm -hmm. I understand where they're coming from, but it's like... Yeah. We don't we don't say that here. Here's how we say this idea that you yeah. want to say. Like mm -hmm. for example, people using shall instead of mm -hmm. will, and mm -hmm. it's like we I mean, in America you don't use shall unless no, no. you're being silly yeah. or you know like yeah. shall we go? You yeah. know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so something like that. It's just, that's a smaller yeah. example, but okay. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway. Uh, Actually, what time is it now there? Um, it is 8.47. No, yes, 8.47 a.m. Let me double check because my phone's in, my computer's in Beijing time. Yeah, it's 8.47 a.m. 8.47 a.m.? Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, what day is it? Like Friday? Friday? Yeah, it's Friday. Yeah, Friday, right? It's Friday. Yeah. Yeah. What's your plan today? What um, do well, I, mean? I teach on this app thing. Yeah. Like not Cambly, but this other thing yeah. until 10. Yeah. So I have to be yeah. here waiting for that. And yeah. then I have to rush to my university because I have to mm. record my subject for my uh -huh. my thesis. And okay. then I have a doctor's appointment and then uh -huh. I come home. <laughs> so that's my plan. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. I think I what gotta... about you? Uh, I mean, it's already uh, 9.48 p.m. Yeah. As I okay. told you, and I got to. I got to go to work tomorrow, like Saturday, mm -hmm. but Saturday is pretty busy day for me. I got to make extra okay. money. <laughs> so I got to go myself. I got to go out there. I got to make some money. I got to teach. Um, yeah. yeah, that's what I got to do. Yeah. So I think I got to, I got to, I got to go to bed maybe, maybe soon. Yeah. Right. So I take a shower. That I'm already good. sweating. Oh, Sleep is good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I let you go and uh, nice talking to you. Uh, enjoy your PhD, the rest of your PhD work. And uh, hopefully... You. 
you're going to be a really great, amazing teacher. I hope have so. so many yeses and others. <laughs> that's the goal. So. Yeah, that's the goal. Okay, you can do it. All right. All right. All right. Nice talking to you. And I'll talk to you later. Maybe, meeting you. Yep. All right. Bye. bye.